I am disgusted what Carter has done to me and my family. When I found out that my husband was having a four-year affair, I was yelling and screaming, just an utter state of shock. I saw a text message of my husband showing himself to his friend, chatting about having sexual relations. I could tell that it was from a man, not a woman, and I was stunned. He sent a picture to this guy of himself, of his of his. They were talking about doing things to each other that I can't even say out loud. He clearly wanted to be with another man doing things with another man according to what the text said. I decided to call him asking what the is going on and I showed him the picture and said, yeah, really, there's no lying about this, that's you. The conversation seemed like they knew each other for some time and very well. After 17 years, I thought I knew everything about my husband. Right now, I don't know who I'm married to. This is not gonna work until we get completely to the bottom of it and get completely honest. Well, Carter says he has told Nicole absolutely everything about his affair. Well, she disagrees and says he is still lying and there's more that he is covering up. When I confronted Carter, Carter tried to tell me he had no idea what the picture was, what I was talking about, absolute, utter denial. First, I, I did lie, and then slowly told her more and more and more. He insists that he doesn't know what this guy's name is. I swear to God, I don't know his name. I don't believe for a minute that he doesn't know this guy's name. I don't believe for a hot minute. He just has his phone number. But he's had his phone number for 17 years. Who does that? Who does that? Hey, I'm gonna hook up with this guy again. I'm having troubles. We're not having a great marriage right now. What? It's all just insanity. It doesn't make any sense. I ask, then you had sex with this other man. No, Carter tells me only thing we did was and sex toys. What Carter tells me is that it's just a sexual release. That's it. The sexual thing, who I, gives a who it is? Because I felt comfortable with him 17 years ago or 18 years ago, and that's why. I don't believe that for one flippin' minute. I asked Carter if he thought he was gay, and he said, no, I am not gay. What I don't understand is if Carter is attracted to men, why not? Just come out, be gay. Now, you believe 100% he's not telling you the truth. He's absolutely not telling me the truth. I believe 100%, uh, and, yes. And, and let me tell you, my focus here is on the transaction between the two of you. Um, I, I don't know whether he's gay or not. I think the worst thing in the world that you can do is for somebody uh, to come out if they're gay, if they're not ready to, they're not in the circumstance that they want to do it, it's not the time that they want to do it. It's, I mean, that's totally up to him. And it would be very disrespectful if he was to force that and cause him to do it when he's not ready to do it. But that's not the issue here. Let's take the fact that it's a man out of it. Just that he is being intimately involved, physically involved with someone else. It is a betrayal either way. Right, and lies.